Hey guys, if you remember, a few months ago I've made a video about this module here. And this is a voice recognition module and is pretty decent. But you see, this module is a bit limited. And the worst limitation is the command time, because if you remember, the command time must be below 1.5 seconds with this module. And 1.5 seconds is very short. You could only use it with simple commands such as hello, do that, turn on, turn off, and stuff like that. But for example, I was making tests with the command tell me a joke and it didn't work all the time because the length of that command was more than 1.5 seconds. But today I have a way better solution for you. And with this solution you can detect full sentences such as this example here. What's up my friends? Welcome back. 122. Please increase the volume. Please decrease the volume. Turn off the red LED. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And not just that, but this solution is able to detect any voice not just my voice. So this tool could be very powerful for robotics projects and it uses Google to detect the words. And the best of all, I've made it compatible with the Arduino UART communication. So you want to know how to do it and also make it work with the Arduino? Well, stick to the end of the video. So guys, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like these ones that look so good? Then use the services of PCBWay. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want, including some exotic purple, or if you want, the matte black and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 up to 14 layers for some more complex designs. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select the gold finish for your pads. The ordering process is so easy, just go to pcbway.com, quote now, insert your design settings and the amount of PCBs, upload the Gerber files and order now and receive the PCBs in just a couple of days. What's up my friends, welcome back. The voice recognition module from Alec House costs around $20. But with around $29 you can buy a Raspberry Pi from Aliexpress for example. Now we all know that Raspberry Pi is like a computer and you could even use Alexa voice recognition with it if you want. But for me I want to keep it simple, because I'm not that good at programming a Raspberry Pi, especially for robotics. I'm way better with Arduino programming and I use it all the time. So that's why I want a module that will detect my voice commands and send the results to the Arduino using some kind of serial communication, UART for example. And that's exactly how the voice module works but I want something better. So to make a voice recognition module with the Raspberry Pi, we need to make several steps. First we need to add all the needed hardware. And then we need to install a few packages, such as the speech recognition, the Pi audio and the flag encoder. And the next step is to run a simple code using Google Voice API and detect the voice commands. And the final step is to get that command and send it through the UART port of the Raspberry Pi, so we also need to configure that. So let's begin. Get the Raspberry Pi and a micro SD card. Go to raspberrypi.com and go to software and from here download the Windows or the Mac version. Insert the SD card to an adapter and then connect it to your computer. And now you can start the downloaded Imager software. Select the Raspberry Pi OS. And for the storage select the SD card and click the right button. And this process will take a while. Now you can place the SD card inside of the Pi. And for the first setup you will need an HDMI screen, a keyboard and a mouse. So connect those to the USB and the HDMI connectors. 
so Pi 5 volts to the Pi and turn on everything. You will have to complete the initial setup, but that's very easy, so just follow the steps. So now we have a working Pi with the Raspberry Pi operating system. The next step is to install all the needed hardware. And all we need is a USB sound card and a microphone. For the sound card I will use this one that only cost me around $3. For the microphone you can use any microphone, or even some headphones with an included microphone. In my case I will use this one. So connect the sound card and check if it's working. You should see it on the audio devices. Now run the terminal and type ELSA mixer. And here you can press F6 and select the USB audio input. You should lower the capture level a little bit. Also make sure to be connected to the internet because the Google Speech API package needs internet. Ok so go back to the terminal. We type this line and check for the version of Python. If it's older than 3.7, you should update it using this line in the terminal, but in my case I don't need to do that. Ok, so next we install the speech recognition package. So for that we run this line, pip install speech recognition. And in a few seconds we have the package installed. So this package could recognize voice commands from sound files, but not directly from the microphone yet. For that we need to install another package called Pi Audio. So for that we run this command. Ok, so then we need one more step. This project will use Google Speech API, and that platform needs flag encoded format of the commands. So let's install the flag encoder by running this line. Ok, so now we have everything we need. I have this example code from GitHub, and I will share below all the information and videos about this topic, and also thanks to Oda's YouTube channel for his video. So copy this code from GitHub. Now go to Programming and run Tani, which is pre-installed on the Raspberry Pi OS. In the code as you can see we import the speech recognition module first. And then we create a recognition variable. And inside of the while true, we get the audio from the microphone. We equal the words variable to the response from Google. And then we print the words so we can check the results. So run this code and let's test it. So let me just run the code and test it. What's up my friends? Welcome back. So this is a test. This works great. So this is a test for this voice recognition module. So as you can see I can make full sentences and this works great. Ok thank you and let's continue with this video. So as you can see the results are very good. I can use full sentences and it works great, way better than the other voice recognition module. But you see I'm not a good Raspberry Pi programmer, but I do love Arduino, and if you remember I want to make my own automatic robot companion able to listen and talk back to me. So I want to use this system with the Arduino. Raspberry Pi has a few UART ports. We can output the results on that port and then use the Arduino to read them. On GPIO 14 and 15 we have the TX and the RX pins. But by default the UART port is disabled. So to enable it on the terminal we run this line. It will open a window. Now go to interface options. And here we go to the i6 serial. Select no for the shell and on the next question select yes for the serial port enable. So the UART port is now enabled, but we have to reboot the Pi. Now if you go to the terminal and run this line, at the bottom you should see that the UART port is equal to 1, so it's enabled. 
but if you try to use it at this point, it might not work. At least in my case, it didn't. And that's because the Pi has several ports. In the terminal, type this line and press Enter. And as you can see, the serial 0 and 1 are mapped on the TTY as 0 and the AMA 0. But my Pi has an onboard Bluetooth module that is using the same port. So we need to swap these ports. Basically, we need to have the TTY AMA 0 for the serial 0 and the TTY S0 for the serial 1. So for that we run this line once again and open the configuration file. Now copy this line and go to the bottom of the file and paste it there. Save the file and exit. And then we reboot the Pi. And once it starts up, we check again the port mapping by running this line. And as you can see the ports are swapped. Before we had this, and now we have this. We can now use the serial port. So we go back to the recognition code. We import the serial module. We create the serial port with this line and here we have to place the TTY AMA0 port. And this is the baud rate and let's set it to 115,200 because that's very common with Arduino. So now each time we detect a new voice command, we use these lines to send the data on the wired port. First we need to pass the text from string format to bytes. And then we use the write function to send the data. And that's it. So let's test it. Here I have my oscilloscope connected on GPIO 14, which is the TX pin. I run the code and say something. What's up my friends? And as you can see we get the serial data with the Welcome text. Back. 100 But now let's test it with the Arduino. I make a simple code that will read the data from the UR port and print it on a small screen. This is the code where we get the data from the serial and print it on the screen. I connect the Pi to the Arduino serial port and run the example. What's up my friends? Welcome back. One hundred. One thousand and twenty four. This is another test. This voice recognition module works pretty good. As you can see, I can get the text from the Raspberry Pi using UART connection with the Arduino. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe. And as you can see, I get the text from my voice commands on the Arduino. And that's great, just as I want it. So now I could make my robot using way better voice commands. The problem is that we need a Pi to run by itself. So we need to make a simple script that will run this Pi file automatically when the Raspberry Pi boots. On Instructables you can find a guide on how to make that. Another problem that I have is this error. Because you see, the microphone will be active each time that hears sounds. If you talk, it will give you a voice command. But each time it hears only noise, the recognizer will give an error because it would not be able to recognize any command. I don't know how to set a noise threshold, so maybe you guys could help me improve this. On the terminal, if you type ELSA mixer once again and press enter, you can set the audio levels for your inputs. But that will only improve the voice detection, but it will still give you an error when it hears any noise. For example, if I start clapping, the code will not be able to detect any voice command and give me that error and stop the code. So I don't know how to solve this error. So guys, that's how you can make a decent voice recognition module with Raspberry Pi, a microphone and Google Voice API. It also has a UART output just as the other module. So I hope that you have learned something new and if so, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe. So guys, did you like this video? I hope so. Okay, so look, I would really like to thank you to all of you for the support. 
especially for those who are supporting me on Patreon because that's a really nice thing to do. And if you can't support me on Patreon, well, all you can do is to just like my videos or comment below in order to get more activity on YouTube. That will really help me. And if not, you have all my links below for my shop, for my website, if you want to buy my t-shirts and so on. So thanks again and see you in the next video.